when you're in soul, they're just going to show up. They're going to just randomly show show up. My person, only 5, 5.30 in the morning, I'm out on a walk and they're showing up at my house because they were at the gym down the street. They wanted to see me. Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth with World's Cup of Joe. Awaken your soul. It is beautiful outside this morning. A little bit chilly, but beautiful. Okay, I wanted to talk to you about five signs that your other self, that your twin flame is thinking about you when you're in soul. Don't forget that part. That's a huge distinction, not when you're in mind, when you're in soul. Okay, get on to what are some signs that your other self is thinking about you. One, synchronicities. Synchronicities are plentiful when you're in soul and your person's thinking about you. You're gonna get winks from the universe all the time. What do these winks look like? They're gonna be different for every person. For me, I had songs come on um, the radio or um, the streaming. Um, a specific song kept coming on, and I'm not even joking, it would come on the moment I turned on the streaming station, a specific one. I would see initials, specific initials and um, numbers in in license plates. I was huge on license plates. I would get a lot of signs when I was driving. Um, other people, it's gonna be different for everybody, but those are some examples of synchronicities, of signs that you may get when you're in soul and your other person is thinking about you. Number two, you are gonna start getting blown up. Um, when you're in Seoul, your other self is just going to suddenly start texting you way more than they normally do. Whereas previous, if maybe you just get a hey from them, they're going to start asking, what are you doing? What are you up to? It's going to be longer messages and it's going to be more frequent than normal. They're just going to want to know what's going on with you. They're not going to know why. They're just going to want to know more. They're going to they're gonna be interested. Number three, other people that are like third parties. You're gonna maybe get more, um, you're gonna get people reaching out to you that are third parties, um, wanting to know how you're doing, just random, that they haven't talked to you for a while and suddenly they're reaching out to you and wanting to know what's going on. From your other self, it's still a synchronicity and they're going to just, you're gonna start noticing these. Um, number four, if you are already sort of in communication, you are going to see a lot more um, interest on their part. So for example, for myself, I stopped talking all future stuff with my person when we were still, when I was still in the balancing phase, trying to balance them, balance them in. I didn't talk about anything future. I knew that that was mine and I just let that go. They started talking about future with me. They started creating scenarios that we could be together more often, that they could picture us together more often. Um, and I didn't respond. I let it go in. I didn't sit there and ruminate on it. I smiled when I heard it and I let it go because that is balancing in soul. If I would have immediately gone to mind and started questioning everything and replaying everything that they said, that would have pushed push energy so listen to what they say and the more you're in soul when you're around them the more they're going to want to stay around you the more they're going to want to ask to see you more often they just want to be there and the fifth sign that they are thinking about you when you're in soul they're just going to show up they're going to just randomly show show up my person hadn't been at my house for only 5 5 30 in the morning i'm out on a walk and they're showing up at my house because they were at the gym down the street they wanted to see me and this didn't happen just once this continually kept happening when i was on my walks and in seoul i would come home to find their car in the parking in the in my driveway it was just it was obvious it was soul i was in seoul and they were showing up that's your fifth sign okay so now you know five signs of if your twin flame is thinking about you when you're in soul. Okay, what if you're not in soul? How do you get them to think about you? Well, it's an obvious answer. You have to get to soul. If you are in push energy, you are repelling them. They are thinking about anything and everything but you. But this is okay because this is your moment. This is your moment 
to learn and get to soul. Okay, so how do you get to soul? We created a detox specifically for this purpose to help people get to soul. This journey is about you. Your person cannot come back if you are not in soul. They just can't. If they do, it'll be fleeting. It'll be more of the chaos, more of the turbulence, and they will run. We created a 30-day twin flame detox specifically to help people get to soul so that their person can be in their same energy. We love you guys so much. We are so grateful for you. And we are so excited and humbled at the opportunity to be able to help you in your twin flame connection. It is life changing. Seriously, guys, it is. We created this because it works. Tremendous effect on the people who are already on it. I say this because we want people to feel better in this journey. We created this to give reprieve and help and have people learn how to live their best life. You guys were blessed with this journey to live your best life, but you need to know how to balance your person in. It's critical. It is critical you learn how to get to soul. And that's why we created this detox program for you. Check it out. It's an affordable way to learn how to get into soul in this journey. We created it. It is like nothing else out there. It is amazing. Guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We are here for you. We are here for you. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving week to you all. We love you. Mm -hmm.